Hi everyone, my name is Matt Workman and I am the creator of Cine Designer. In this video tutorial series that I'm going to try to do quite frequently, I'm going to take you from knowing absolutely nothing about Cinema 4D or Cine Designer to being uh, able to visualize camera work and lighting just like you would in the real world. So to start, uh, we are going to be installing Cine Designer. Now if you don't have it right now and you're interested in getting it, head over to cinematographydb.com, go to the online shop and you'll be able to buy it there. Uh, so when you do purchase it, uh, I'm back on my computer now, um, you'll get a zip file that's like this. Now this is release one, build one. So this is actually, I'm recording this before the actual launch, uh, but likely you'll have something like this. If we're at R2 and we're at build 100, that would be an amazing thing. But for now, we're going to unzip this and we're going to get a folder that says plugins and inside of that folder is another folder called Cine Designer. Um, so let's start up, let's get a new window. And I don't have an installer for this right now, um, so I'm going to show you how to manually install it. It's not too bad, I promise. So if you're on OS X, go to Applications, uh, scroll down to Max On, and find your Cinema 4D install. Uh, just as a note, I know that this works quite well on R17 and 16 on Windows and on Mac. It likely works on some older builds, um, but it, it would be best if you were using 16 or 17, um, just because I can use some of the newer uh, command some of the newer stuff, you know, the older versions, um, they mostly are supporting uh, Cine Designer, but I would say 16 or 17 is the safest. Uh, if you are on Windows, head over to C, you know, your C driver, wherever you install programs, uh, program files, Max on Cinema 4D, it's the same exact thing. And in this folder, you will find here a thing called plugins, and that's what this plugins folder is representing. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab this Cine Designer folder, and you're going to drop it right in there. Now, I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. Octane, hmm, interesting. Uh, Octane's fun. Uh, we'll be doing that in a little bit uh, further down the road. So uh, with that folder installed, you're going to open up Cinema 4D. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> okay, so here we are in Cinema 4D. Uh, if it's your first time uh, in Cinema, congratulations. Um, don't be intimidated at all. This is one of the easiest 3D programs to learn uh, because it's so intuitive, it's so responsive, everything works great. Um, so I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about Cinema 4D for Cine Design. Um, so with that plugin installed, with Cine Designer installed, you're going to be able to go to plugins up here and you're going to be able to launch Cine Designer. And it should look like something like this. Now I have a little button over here because I use Cine Designer a lot, um, multiple times a day at this point. Uh, and if you would like to get a little button like that, you can go to window, um, let's see if I can remember this now. Let's do customize palettes, right? Uh, in here, you don't have to do this, but in case you want that little button, just make you feel a little bit uh, better, go to Cine, right, Cine, and you'll get Cine Designer, and then you can click and drag this up here, um, and they'll create a button for you, and you will have it. So that's how you make that button. And then from there, I believe you have to do um, save as start, startup layout. And then you'll get this thing over here with these different layouts. Don't, don't worry about this stuff if you don't want to mess with it. You'll get this thing called startup user. Uh, and that'll just make sure that you have this button so you can launch this really quickly. Uh, the last thing I want to show you about Cine Designer is if you're using it um, a lot, like I do, like you just you don't want to have to ever click that button once it's open. You can grab these little this little weird button here. I'm going to close that actually. You can grab this here and click and drag, and you can put it into the interface like this, and it gets really big. And then you can do that. Um, so now it's part of the UI. It does take up quite a room. Eventually, this script will be much deeper. I'll have a lot more things in it. Um, but for now, you can get to all these sections and just leave it open, which is going to be good if you're adding lots of cameras and lots of lights constantly. Um, and if you have a big enough screen, I tend to be doing this. So uh, that's going to wrap it up uh, for this first lesson. That is how you install Cine Designer. Uh, in the next lesson, we're going to talk about how to get around uh, the viewport. How do you actually look around in this virtual space? How do you move the camera that you're observing the world in, the 3D world? Uh, it's really important. Uh, every 3D program is slightly different. So I want to just give you my take on, I think, the best approach for doing it in Cine Designer or in, <laughs> in Cinema 4D. So uh, thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Cheers.